G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're starting off with a um, a bit of a mini review with a pretty awesome game if I may say so myself. Um, today it's the Skoda T24 and I'm probably going to make these reasonably regular, when I say regular, whenever I bring them out because I'm pretty useless at doing this and as you can probably notice if you're a long time uh, a subscriber that I am so inconsistent with putting these out. I say I'll do them frequently and then I don't do one for a month and then I'll do three and then I won't do for three months. It's just I'm, I'm ridiculously crap at doing this and I apologize and I really thank you all for those who have stayed um, with staying because uh, it, it means a lot to me because I do enjoy this. I just don't have lots of time because full-time worker, full-time father, full-time husband. So as you as you all know anyway so the t24 the tank that everyone seems to hate um i don't know why i love it i think it's i think it's hilarious and uh, although i have sold it um because i want the t6 because apparently everyone loves that and i need stuff for strongholds um so yes this Skoda 2024 when i first bought this i thought it was an auto loader i thought oh that's awesome Unfortunately, it's not. Uh, it's it's a single shot gun, but it's a pretty decent gun. It's got a fairly slow refire rate with a uh, reload of about 4.5 seconds, which is what I've got down here on Tanks GG. Um, has 132 penetration, which is really good, and it is the best for all mediums at tier 5. Um, that is phenomenal. I found that I had hardly ever had to fire some gold in this, because just the pen's just brilliant. Um, 185 pen for those games that you need the extra pen, and I found that perfect as well. Um, 110, pretty much the average 75mm, which is good. 3.8, uh, dispersion at 100 meters, pretty average for a tier 5. Most guns don't get much more accurate than that, except for some of the German ones. Um, armor-wise, there's not much point talking about the armor. It's pretty terrible. Um, mobility, it's pretty fast, I won't lie. It's got some good... Uh, ground resistance and also uh, powder rate ratio which is really nice so it can move when it needs to and which makes it very good for carrying if you need to carry um yeah as I said hard armor terrible terrible not even worth it talking about in my opinion um equipment I run is the code optics the improved ventilation class and the uh, gun armor which is a in my opinion a must on any tank these days um unless you can mount a um Oh, what do you call it? The uh, vert vertical stabilizer, which is then I would be. If you've got a really good crew with lots of um, vision skills, swap the optics out for um, for your vert stab. But another one could be said. Argument could be said for making it the ventilation. It's up to you as a person. If you prefer more DPM, maybe go keep the op the ventilation if you prefer to outspot your enemies which is something a lot of players prefer to do and is probably a better choice the optics is the one you keep and you just keep gun rammer first stab and optics and that's pretty much for any tank um, that you find at any tier above oh, seven six um consumables repair uh, repair medikit auto fire extinguisher auto fire extinguisher i run every tank i can i sell all my normal ones because uh, once we sat down worked out that using automatic ones while they're expensive to set up on all your tanks they save you money and wargaming gives them out for free all the time so I've got like 80 just sitting around I haven't paid for one in ages so and I, and I probably get set on fire once every 100 games um, you did the math it saves you money anyway 3D model so um, it the armor is amazing. Look at that, sixty-five mils. It's great. It's great. Big fat Kabbalah, lovely. Um, even this is terrible. Look at it. It's forty-two mil. It's not even auto bounce. Um, hundred percent chance results. There you go. Um, there's no way you're gonna bounce a shot in this unless you get incredibly lucky, and I would bet money that you don't. Um, you can probably take some shots on the tracks, but your hole's huge. You can take hits easy. Look at that. It's only 43 degrees. It's terrible. Uh, 43 millimeters is terrible. So, uh, the one thing it has going for it that really keeps it alive is your gun depression. And you can see it's quite good. It's 10 degrees. 
Um, has a 20 degree elevation, which is pretty good as well. But yeah, the gun depression is very good. And working when you're working ridge lines and trying to get that shot just below you, it is brilliant. And I will show you in the upcoming game how well it can be used. So, um, without further ado, I will move on to the replay. And we're on Cliff, uh, playing on the T24, and T6 battle. Um, top tiers, uh, they've got a KV85, Skoda T25, Skoda T40, and an AMX 13 F3. Um, at the moment, we have a heavy tank number 6, a KV85, a VK 301H and a Cromwell and a FE 304. So, for some reason that was uh, paused. That's okay. So, looking at the battlefield, you've got a couple way, a couple places you can go to actually uh, control the map. Um, you can start here and move your way up to here. Being up here is quite a strong position um, to play. Also, if you're in a platoon, coming over here to take shots on players that come up here. Um, you aren't already safe from here, but you can take a couple of pot shots and then retreat. And then once you are able to, you can pop around here to take shots on people who have moved over to this position. Um, and yeah, and you've also got the ability to come back and reset cap if people manage to yolo their way through up here. So. So, um, basically what I've just done there is I have destroyed the, uh, well, for what I've term tents in the cap circle. They can, they can provide cover, and also if you want to reset we're using a HE round like I sometimes like to, um, the HE round will be blocked by that, so it's always good just to destroy that and save them using it as cover. It also does absorb some AP penetration, but not a lot. But all the difference can make the difference. So, I've decided that we're going to go to the E, um, E7 uh, section to take pot shots on the enemy from there. Now, both the uh, the LCs on each team have gone up there, and I don't know if I take any LC myself up there. And as you can see, the pen is actually quite decent on the uh, tank here. I mean, we're just we're just popping up, taking a shot. Aiming in and firing. Enemy is hit. And we're getting some nice hits in. I the T24. And um, now we're going to try and see if we can pop some shots in there. Although we do see this AMX 40, we think, oh, poor thing, we as we shoot him. And we bounce, armor. funnily enough. Uh, so, AMX. MX40. Now, I'm going to pause it for a sec and go here. Now, see what this M8A1 is doing. He's doing something really stupid, and I'm sorry, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to apologise to him now. I do something pretty abhorrent to him, and I don't feel very proud about it. But he, he does cause some issues for me, and we'll see that very shortly. So, we take him out, and I'm trying to back away. And this M8 is just getting in my way. He pushes me forward, and then I lose almost all of my health. And out of frustration, I shoot him. And I shouldn't have done that, to be honest. I kind of expected him to kill me, although he didn't. So he's probably the better person out of that. But in all seriousness, if you're playing, if you're behind someone and you're stopping from backing up and then trying to back up, just get get out of there. Move it. Get out of there, because you're gonna cause them issues. And so that's all I'm going to say on the matter. I'm sorry that I shot him. And yeah, what we'll do is we'll more make up for this. So anyway, so we've got to go T4. I'm not too keen about fighting him at the moment. A lot of my confidence is gone uh, because I have lost most of my health. Luckily, the Sky T4 gets taken out by the uh, T34 on our team, which is good. And we've lost our engine. Um, in a second I will decide to repair that engine because I don't think we can really um, do much in the middle with a crook engine which is not good. There we go. So I've decided since I'm, I'm no longer in a fit state to actually uh, contribute directly to the battle I've decided I'm going to go up the hill to get shots um, on the advancing enemy team because they're winning that, that flank so we're going to change that 
So we bumped around in aiming for the uh, G G1R and actually hit the ELC, which is, which is probably a good thing. Pop another shot into the G1R, killing him off. Now we're going to relocate because um, we haven't got shots anymore. So a lot of ex inexperienced players like myself at one stage just used to sit there waiting for a shot. And don't do that. <coughs> Pardon me for the cough. Um, it's just it's just better off. There you go. We almost we we I would have done him to try and dip and get a shot on him, and we would have got it. But unfortunately, someone finished him off before we could get to him. Looks like this enemy Skoda T25 did not survive his encounter up here. Unfortunately, for him, and probably good for us because that thing's ridiculously powerful at its own tier, and it, from what I can see, it's not terrible at tier seven either. Struggles at tier 8 though, from what I've been told. But anyway, so ELC is aiming at us. We go right, nope, that's that's not cool at all. And we pull back because why why even try that? He will already be aimed in in us, another area and be able to take us out. Our own, our own uh, T34 gets taken out. And I decide, well, I'm probably unspotted now, so what I'll do now. I did say before you should lie and wait, although this is probably the only time, or the perfect time, that you should lie and wait. I'm literally going to wait here, because I know he's going to come forward, and then I execute him. And I knew that would work because he was a one shot, so he couldn't just turn around and black us for us, our last 45 health. Artillery has a massive hard on for us, so he, she, they are trying to get it shots on us. But we're relocating and not staying in one spot, which is... I'm doing the right things in this game. Don't always do that. I'm not a Unicum. Don't claim to be. I want to be one, but I'm still not good enough yet. Um, so, we've just destroyed... Our hits are destroyed their hitzer, And their SU-85 is now um, advancing and has destroyed our hitzer. So, almost lost a bit there. Got to be excited. We are on three kills. And there are four enemy tanks left. And all we have left is a AFK M1, uh, M3 Lee. And a fairly active, although a little bit unsuccessful, T82 HMC. And he will actually prove fairly useful shortly. So I thought, let's try and spot one of the other and kill him off. Because that will really help me out long term. I find the Sturpanzer. Take him out. Lucky for me. I'm gonna go over here because I know I can get shots on the 85 from the from these bushes over here. And then I find the AMX 13F3, and I bounce a shot, or oh, it was a critical hit. Sorry. Don't know where he was firing. I think he just sort of tried to loop one over. I'm getting shots on him. Unfortunately, I don't want to fall down, so I actually uh, pull back. And now I'm a bit concerned that he might be reloaded because I don't know what the actual reload on these things are. I think it's reasonably quick. Miss my shot and then I start to panic. So I auto aim in, I stop because he was aiming at me and we take him out. So now we're on five kills and they're one third of the way through capping. Actually more than that, almost halfway. And then there's ELC and I'm like, oh crap. And then I realise, wait, something's not quite right here. He has the stock 75 mil. He has the one gun that will have trouble pinning me. So now it's one versus one. We're on six kills. He's on five. He's on five kills. So he's actually done quite well this battle. Try for some uh, blind shots, and we do hit him because it resets the cap. But we don't reset it. We don't hit him again. So I'm gonna try and relocate and get some better spots. Now. I can pop out here and try and get some shot spots here because we should have a little bit of camo here and I have got full camo and there he's coming for us critical so we hit. miss or oh, sorry we hit him but it's only a critical hit he probably killed a crew member and I've loaded premium rounds now because I'm not leaving anything to chance the SU-85 is not the most armoured tank but um, it's a 1v1 I'd rather land the last two shots and kill him so I'm actually sweating bullets right now. I'm just sort of like, oh shit. So I pull back. 
and I get unspotted, and now I'm relocating to the other side of the battlefield. And you, you have no idea how, how much shaking I was doing at this point. I was just like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. It was... Uh, it, you've, you've probably all been in the situation where you saw like, I'm the last hope for this team. Oh god. This last... Last ditch effort. So, I'm going the long way around because I know that the SU-85 does not have more than about 300, 330 um, meters view range. With any luck, he's running a 50, 35, or a 75% crew, and he hasn't got any equipment. With any luck, I'm not banking on it because he has five kills, so he's probably half decent. And then I'm going to come over here, and this is the interesting part where we we see him. We're going to spot him in a second, and this was just lucky because I was like, "Oh crap, we haven't seen him. Where is he?" And there he is. He hasn't seen us. Came in. One shot. Very good. It's going to require another shot. I was, I was panicking at this point. And done. Um, seven kills. And around 2,000 damage. So, let's go on to the post-game stats. So as you can see, thanks to our little carry there, that was a win, and it was the mastery badge in our Skoda T24. We earned the Bruiser medal, uh, the Fire Fetch medal, and a Top Gun medal. Um, we pretty much uh, we probably did the best we could there. Got 5,328 XP because I was running a mission and a consumable and a um, a boost, uh, which helped with the last 5,000 exactly, well, actually this was pretty much the, exactly what I needed to get to the 2025 and I was pretty pleased with that so I'll, I'll just, there we go, we'll fix that up so he got his high calibre I believe, yes he did and good on him, he played a very good game and he should be very proud of himself um, oops, sorry so we we shot 31 sh shots and the couple were um, a APCR, um, 26 out of 31, which was pretty good, and 22 pen, which is good. Damage is 1915, which is pretty cool. Um, I do apologise to this fellow here. Um, didn't do great, but me shooting him once was probably not good for him either. But, yeah, I, I feel quite bad for what I did, and I apologise. And if, you know, if you're watching this, please look me up, I'll make it up to you in some way. Um... Obviously, I can't gift you anything or anything like that, but I can probably platoon with you, give you some mentoring if you want. Um, or just... <laughs> we can platoon and have some fun. Anyway, so... Detailed report. So, shots fired. We've already talked about that. Um, we spotted three enemy vehicles. We da damaged nine. We killed seven. Um, 48 assistance damage. Not much at all. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, base capture points. We defended 66 points, which is nice. Distance travel 3.47 kilometers, and the game start lasted just under 10 minutes. Anyway, that's uh, my mastery badge in the Skoda 24. Um, best carrier I've probably ever played in my life. That I've actually won. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time on the channel. Take care.